Okay, next one, number 16, the diagram shows the cross section through a plant stem, right? So take a nice look. Okay, this is the plant stem. We have tissue one and tissue two. Alright. Alright, what are the functions of the two labeled tissues? Alright, so in this case, yeah, the answer, yes, it is B. Most of you correct us for this one. Alright, so which one is uh, so tissue 1 is for transport, tissue 2 is for uh, transport and also support, yeah? Okay, so this one, right? Tissue 1, is it xylem or phloem? Because tissue 1 and tissue 2 together is, this is actually the vascular bundle, yeah? This is actually the vascular bundle. Now, which one is which? Mm -hmm. Okay, so tissue 1, which one is that? Is it phloem or is it? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so tissue 1 is the phloem, tissue 2 is the xylem. Okay, say again, uh. tissue 1, phloem, tissue 2, xylem. The xylem, yes, it is in charge of transport, uh, it is in charge of transportation and also the partner because of the way the xylem is built, it is one long continuous thing and it's pretty hard also, uh, so it's there to help with support okay phloem no phloem is actually made out of small cells okay that are kind of like stacked up on top of each other mm. this is the phloem and the xylem all right so let's move on okay uh number 17 leafy shoot is placed in a solution of red dye okay so this one over here right after 30 minutes which part of the leaf will uh, from the shoot will contain the red dye. Uh, great. Right. So yes, most of you got it correct. The answer is C. C here, you can see uh, it looks kind of different from the rest because this is the vascular bundle. Okay. Once again, we have another vascular bundle that is C. Alright. Uh, why will C contain the red dye? It's because when you put the shoot Gas exchange is at D. Yes. Okay. Mm. Where is it? Oh yeah. So when the when you put a plant in some water with some red dye, okay, the plant is actually going to absorb the water along with the red dye. The red dye will travel up the xylem, right? And since the xylem is part of the vascular bundle, the vascular bundle will be the one that has the red dye. Okay. C is C the spongy mass. No, no, I said C is not spongy mesophyll. C is the vascular bundle. D is the spongy mesophyll. Okay. D is the spongy mesophyll. B is the palisade. Uh, A is the what do you call it here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, the word escaped from my head. Which part does the sun reflect more? Yes, this is the epidermis. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I can't Which part does the sun reflect more? You mean like the ep on the epidermis? You mean the I'm not so I'm not so sure what you mean with that, that question. Uh. What part does the sun reflect more? Hmm. If you're talking about like here, this is like physics already, like the reflection is would be the upper, uh, it would be not really upper epidermis, uh, it would be the chlorophyll itself uh, in the chloroplast. So it will be in the palisade. Oh, <laughs> all right. Moving on. Okay. Uh, cuticle. By the way, is this one up here, the waxy layer? Okay. You see this like very thin line at the top. That is the cuticle. Yeah. Cuticle and epidermis is transparent. Yeah. Okay. It's transparent, huh? Okay, next one, the diagram shows section through fish heart and the direction of blood flow, okay. So we have blood growing, going in here, okay, through the atrium, through the ventricle and out of the heart. After, the, after leaving the heart, where will the 
uh, blood flow to to next okay. a lot of answers huh? okay most of you say C which is the gills yes it is the gills huh? okay because the blood flowing through is going to get oxygenated right in a fish uh, it's only uh, it's not like so complex uh, the fish heart uh, it's not as complex as like, human heart uh, human heart you know sometimes uh, it will go to the various parts of the human body some parts will go to the lungs and all no, no. fish is like one complete circuit one circuit and that's it right from lung to gills to the rest of the body and back to the heart okay how you know it is getting oxygenated or deoxygenated now if it goes to the gills it's getting oxygenated no? uh, it's like the gills are like lungs you know uh, the lungs for the fish uh, Okay, so like mammals, we have lungs, uh, fish got gills, uh, right? You, the blood will go there to get oxygenated. Okay, the blood here is not oxygenated blood, it is deoxygenated blood because it is going from the body, right, to the heart, to the gills to get oxygenated, right? Anyway, if you see this kind of question, actually, uh, you can kind of tell which is the answer because the rest of the answers look organ organ this is a must is a tissue tail muscle which is if you notice uh, all three actually consume oxygen right <laughs> so they all this cannot be lah. so next one here number 19 the graph shows special changes that take place in the right atrium right ventricle and left ventricle of a human heart where the muscle walls contract and relax i'll say this again now in the fish, right, is the circulatory system for the fish is not complex one, not like human, right? Human we got two circuits. Fish one only, uh, good enough ready, uh. Okay, so the flow of the blood will go from body to heart to the gills, which then the blood gets oxygenated and goes back to the body. Uh, no need to be so complicated. One circuit only. Right. Uh, if you look at the answers, also actually the answers can tell you like which is the correct answer because if you see eyes, yeah, they are an organ, so they consume oxygen. Fins are also organs, so they consume oxygen. Muscle, muscle consumes oxygen, so the only one left is gills, so. isn't it? <sighs> Alright, next one, number nineteen. Okay, so sun have pressure changes that take place in the atrium, ventricles hmm, atriums and ventricles okay, what is the pressure in the right ventricle when the left ventricle is at maximum pressure okay, so this is the left ventricle okay, and when it is at maximum uh, pressure which is over here, uh, maximum pressure, right? okay, okay over here, this is the maximum pressure now when it's at maximum pressure, the time is about here lah 0.35 Aga aga Right? But you can notice here What is the pressure at the right ventricle? 3 3 Okay, why is that? Uh, here lah. Why is it the... How you know this is the right ventricle now? Because ventricle lah, They will both have high pressure at the same time lah. It's just that the yeah, something's blocking. Why is this blocking? Okay. Um, okay, because when the right ventricle is uh, contracting, so is the left ventricle, basically. So both of them will increase. It's just that uh, the left ventricle has higher pressure. Right. Hmm. Okay. As for number twenty. Alright, the body has different types of defenses against pathogens. Alright, so we have four here antibodies, hairs on the nose, mucus, and skin. Which ones help to prevent pathogens from reaching your lungs? There are only three lines here. The other one is probably the atrium. Huh. Alright. The okay, so back to this one. Any 
Okay. So, so number 20 answer would be <laughs> Can it? You give so many answers. Huh? <laughs> okay, so yeah, the answer is C. Okay, two and three. Now, two and three will be hairs on the nose. Okay. Uh, mechanical barriers. Okay, mechanical barriers are just any kind of physical barriers, anything that doesn't involve any kind of chemical reaction. Okay, this one just doesn't have any kind of chemical reaction, which is like the hairs in the nose, right? Is obviously uh mechanical, okay, because it's just there as a barrier, physical barrier, right? Skin also is physical barrier, uh, whereas mucus and antibodies will be more towards the chemical barrier because it has a chemical properties to them. Uh. Um, yes, mechanical barriers, skin, hair, these are all mechanical barriers. They do not require any, uh, any chemical reactions to protect the body. The skin is just there as a shield, right? It's just there. There's no chemical reaction. So it's a mechanical barrier. Uh, okay. Wait now. Question 19, how to know which line is left and right. Okay, so I asked you guys. Uh, wait, did the glass see? Okay, they didn't say. Right. So, when the... In the heart, Okay, left atrium and right atrium. Now, uh, left ventricle and right, right ventricle. Now, the left ventricle leads to what? Uh, not the person. What the, uh, what blood vessel does it lead to? The left, the left one, the left ventricle. Yeah, the body, right? Uh, so it's going through like the aorta, which is very high pressure. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so anyway, in the left ventricle, it's pumping <coughs> blood to the entire um, part of the body. La. So higher pressure, ma. you get it? Uh, because it has to pump blood to various parts of the body, whereas the right side is like, oh, you know, a bit more relaxed because you know the lungs and the heart are about the same place, right? Doesn't need to put so much pressure. 